In the buzz, a battle is brewing over sidewalk chalk, and it's got us talking about the power of HOAs. Sarah Cohen recently moved into a Denver housing development with her husband and their three-year-old daughter. Well, little Emerson, you see her there. She loves to draw with her sidewalk chalk, but perhaps some of the neighbors don't share her joy of the art form. The HOA has asked Sarah to stop Emerson from using her chalk in a public courtyard until a meeting can be held. At that meeting, members of the HOA may decide to get rid of the sidewalk chalk altogether, including setting up fines for violations. It's summertime, and, and God forbid that my daughter's drawing flowers in her name and hearts. She's not bothering anyone, and it's actually pretty neat. She's learning how to spell her name. Like Alrighty, what do you guys make of this controversy? Does the thought of a group of neighbors could shut down the play of a three-year-old make you cringe? Or do you have the, do they have the right, rather, to decide how their sidewalks in their neighborhoods look? And our guest today is Chef Eddie Matney. Little girl playing with sidewalk know, so chalk. Cute. This is just an abomination. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to tell you something. Yes, when you look at it, as in a, it is an abomination. <laughs> but I have to tell you, is it a community that is for the elderly people and maybe they just moved in? I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But there are kids around the neighborhood. It's simple. It's fun. It's easy for this child to do that. It's safe. I think let the little girl do what she wants to do. For the people who are complaining about it, you know, you have to listen to what they say because, you know, HOAs carry a lot of juice. I mean, and they do. They can do a lot of different things in the community. But I personally, I think let the girl write. Let the girl do something right all over the thing. I think it's kind of cute and fun. And it washes off. It washes off, hose. exactly. Or maybe they make her have her wash it off after a couple days. But the people who are complaining obviously need to get a job, need to get a life, need to do something other than that. It probably makes it it's very pretty. I know what it is. They couldn't draw when they were younger, and yeah. this is just their retaliation. Well, you know, it's Haters. funny because the mom says, you know what, she hasn't had any complaints from the neighbors, well, and it's in the commons area. It's not, they don't, you can see it a little bit, they don't really have a backyard. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, the sidewalk is kind of a commons thing. Everybody uses it, mm -hmm. and that's where the problem lies, that there's not a stipulation, I guess, in this particular HOA that says, you can draw in the commons area. But, That's for everybody. Yeah, yeah, but is there something that says you can't draw on the in the common area? Everybody goes there and everybody sits around. Are you going to say you can only be there from 2 to 4 or from 5 to 7? There's nothing that stipulates that. Well, so let her do what she wants to do. And all it takes is someone from an HOA, you know, oh, yeah. to get a little golf cart and drive around uh. and decide. <laughs> I just don't like that. Exactly. Yeah. I'm just going to pull a Grinch on you. Right, and, right. And that's obviously what, what went on here. And you know what? Why couldn't they have the guts enough to just go up to the mom and say, look, it, can your daughter maybe draw over here or maybe when you're done, mm -hmm. rinse yeah. it off or something like that? Instead, she got to, has to cause a big stink. Now it makes our show. So yeah. That's what you're well, doing. you guys are sounding off on Facebook. Carolyn Whitehead writes, for the last four years, I was president of an over 200 unit condo community. This issue came up once. All we have asked the parents of the budding artist to do is simply wash it down later in the day or evening. It's not harming anybody and not permanent like graffiti. She is a child. Let her be one. All right, no, Rose, and he opposes. He says if this kid was drawing with chalk on her parents' driveway, then it'd be no big deal. But since this is on a sidewalk, which is considered a shared area, then you have to be respectful of those that use it. And Jill Henriksen says some HOAs need regulation so they don't become fascist regi regimes that this one appears to be. Harmony McCarter says, I think they should worry about something a little bit more serious than a child enjoying her summer break with sidewalk chalk.